everyone welcome back to another session of work day talent modules so in the last session we have started with uh, goals and we have seen how as an employee you can set your goals aligned with your organizational goals as a manager how you can review and also as an employee how we can take a feedback from the employee from your managers right so all those things we have covered and how to enable those uh, initially we have seen how to enable the performance management or performance enablement function in workday so today we'll be continuing from that part so let's uh, move on let me share my screen yeah so you have started with this the goal management performance goal enablement we have seen how to add goals to employees and all so today we are seeing, going to see a couple of more tasks in the system, right? So let's move on to the configure profile group task. So we will see configure Configure profile group task. So we can see there are multiple options here. Configure uh, profile, configure profile group, configure profile header card, configure profile summary, configure carrier profile. So all these are tasks actually, if you can see, right? So here, so configure profile group. So from our goal management point of view, okay? So we will be exploring this configure profile group first. And whenever I'm going to profile group, you can see there are options here, okay? So like academia, academic unit, right? Banking, bank account, business unit, candidate profile, all those options are here, okay? And we have to see organizational goals worklet right so organizational outcome based goal is already there outcome based goal for goal profile okay so this is we have seen it already organizational goal Okay, so this is not there. This profile is not there. Maybe renamed or something like that. Okay, so let's move on to the, let's see only the goals we will see. What is there? Outcome-based goal for goal profile. Okay, so this is our group. And here in this, we can see these are the four things we are seeing in this. If you remember last time, whenever you're discussing, there were individual outcome-based goals, there are development items, there are organization outcome-based goals, there are archived outcome-based goals, okay? So this is something we hit is there. Suppose uh, you want to add another thing here, you can also add here, right? Allowed custom tasks, if you want to add any custom things here, right? Development items or something like that. At present, nothing is there custom, okay? But you can add it here, okay? If you want to remove also, simply use this minus button, you can do that. Okay, so this is something it is already there, right? And this is how a typical configure profile groups look like, and you can be configured. And if you want to display this thing in the profile or not, based on the tick box, this will decide whether you want to display it or not. Okay, hope you understood this one. It's a very simple one, nothing much to un worries. So now moving on. So this is something we have already seen tenant group, all the stuff, business processes. Okay, so this is from a reporting point of view. Let's see what kind of reports we do have. View organizational goals. Before that, let's little bit, we will see the other stuff. Configure, profile. So there are four multiple options we're coming, right? So configure profile and configure carrier profile, right? 
So this one also, let's see what is their configure profile. So again, these are various profiles, job profile, job acquisitions, organization, right? Suppose it's an organization profile. You can see this is an overview of an organization. So here, where, which you can see it here, right? I will cancel it. I don't want to go for it. If anything is related to goals and all, let's see if anything is relevant for us. Okay, it's the same thing, profile group, all those stuff, right? So I'll discard it. Let's move on to the other topic, configure profile. What else is coming? Configure profile summary. So this is again another task. All are interlinked. Suppose I would like to see one of the this summary. And at present there is no data. And you can keep on adding all those stuff. Okay, whatever is needed. Right. So in this way, this can be configured. I will discard it. Configure profile. Summary. And if I to see candidate profile, let's see. Okay, so this is a, what kind of details we can have for a candidate. So this is where we can see this, all the stuff. So this is just uh, for your understanding. We are not going to deep here. Let's move on to the other topic. So we have seen this from a reporting point of view. We would like to see view organizational goal. Let's see how does it report look like. View organization. Okay, so it is not coming as such. Okay, so view organization outcome based goals. So this is one of the reports which you can see. Before that, we will see, let's see view organization first, then we will see organizational goals. So let's say all organizations I will select from here. Mm, let's say all organizations we are belonging to Poland. Let's see. Polands, remote Poland, office Poland, locations. These are different, different members. These are supervisory organizations. We can see details about it. Details, staffing. Unable to fill organization assignments. So all those details you will be finding here. Company, organizations, region, business unit, HR, customer, organization, company acquired, right? So this is how uh, you can view an organization. So now we will see view organizations outcome based goal. So organization, let's select uh, organizations. We will select a particular category of employees or FY23. So this is how FY23 goals looks like usage outcome based goal period it just has been configured So now we will see, so there are different categories, right? So view outcome based uh, goal alignment. Okay, this is another report we can see. Digital marketing, let's have a search. Okay, it is not there. Global event. Okay, 
outcome based goal period actually it is not configured so based on this you can applying all this filter okay you can apply and you can you will be able to view the reports okay so it is not configured as such so otherwise you will be able to see in the segment okay so these are different kind of uh, you can see the reportings available right and uh, these are connections uh, integrations piece now setting up the goal so this is already we have seen how to set up in the fast sessions like this must be there in your performance enablement functional area and the tenant must set up must be done in your hcm domain system functional area similarly the talent domain the talent pipeline functional area so these are all interrelated and your performance and goals so this domain in the area to enable the goal so there are a few things we have to understand this must be enabled in your system right in your workday system okay so again when what kind of goals you can utilize in the workday so this is again a fixed one either it can be organizational goals or it can be individual or at employee level goals cascaded goals that means same goal assigned to two or more employees right and it can be the review that means which are part of the employee reviews right so these are the different options we do have and you can also uh, rename okay if you want to rename you can always use this uh, custom level task maintain so in our case it has been renamed maintain custom level okay so if i go to here So I think that option is uh, not coming anyhow. Maintain custom level tasks. Web levels, custom level. Okay, sorry. That it should be L A B E L. Yeah, so this is where exactly you can change your text and all. Okay, goal is not there. If anything to be changed here, you can, okay, so there are a few values so, and it can be, you can see in our entire system, there are two things has been already changed. Wherever it was a goal, it was mentioned as an outcome based goal. Wherever it is written goals, it was mentioned as outcome based goals, okay, and it can be customize so in our case it is actually changed okay so this is something where you can come and you can change that is the transaction is maintained custom levels task okay so this is something in applicable for entire mod work day not only for performance so now we have seen um, so maintain goal setup so this is how you can change the level now if you go to the access the maintain goal setup maintain goal setup task okay so wherever you are seeing a it is a goal, right? It has been changed to outcome based goal. Okay, we don't not get confused here. This is the setup. Okay, and this is how your goals are set up in the configuration level. Okay, and what are the fields you want it? What are the attributes you want it? You can see it here in the left hand side, like category, description, if you want a due date or milestones or not, maximum, minimum, actual. So, whatever the required field, simply you have to come here. And you have to tick all these uh, attributes, okay? And in the right hand side, so my organization outcome based. If you want to activate anything, you have to simple tick those box, okay? Another category we do have configure outcome based only in the reviews during the review period. If you want to see those things, okay, and you can configure it, okay? So whatever you want to configure, you can come here, okay? So here, this is a talent tag you can see, right? So if you want to configure it. So let's say we do not require it at present. Okay, I will just simply remove it. If you remove, if you want anything, maintain outcome, 
based goal units, maintain outcome based goal, maintain outcome based goal, payout bands, okay, based on your, okay. So all those things it can be configured, okay, how the calculation will happen, minimum payout, maximum payout, all those things. All these things can be linked and it can be configured from here, okay. So this is something your outcome based uh, goal setup and all we have seen as per this. Then we have another, so this is a past task. We have seen maintain goal setup task. Similarly, if you go here, next one, set up individual goals. So that can be also done. Individual goals for employee review, set up organized for goal completion statuses. Set up individual goals, if I go there. Okay, so basically this would be set of individual goals. We will see that. Uh, yeah, set up individual goals. So the, how it will be configured? Now you have to access the maintain goal set of tasks. Okay, then you have to, let's go to there, maintain goal set up. So in our case, maintain organized outcome based goal. Outcome based goal setup. This is the one. Okay. Goal setup. This is already we have seen maintain outcome based goal setup. So this is already done for us. As you complete the options in enable goal attribute sections. So these are the different categories already. And this is how they explain what is the meaning and uh, for each and every attributes, whatever you are seeing in this options, right? So it is a very easy one. What is the meaning of a weight? What is the meaning of a minimum, maximum, all those things. And uh, this is a little quickly skip it because already we have understood it. Then set up goals for employee reviews. This is already we have understood, right? So we're not be spending much time here. Then setting up the goals for employee reviews. How do you set it? So we will, for that there is some prerequisite. It is already set up. So I'm not going in my system. So this is already set up. So there are some prerequisites already done. It will really help you how workers can create and operate goals in employee reviews, right? So for that, we have to basically go to maintain goal setup task again. So same thing, right? And we have to go to the configure goal in the review sections. In the review sections, whether you want to lock it, whether you want to allow it, allow all those options you can see log goals associated within progress. So if you want to select it, it will prevent workers from editing the goals which are in progress, right? If you want allow deletion of a goal associated with the reviews. If you want to select it, right? They can delete the goals included in the completed or in progress reviews. If you want to select log goals associated with in progress reviews, what I said only delete goals. Okay, the completed reviews based on the requirement. Again, this is not a not a hard and fast rule based on your need and all. This can be highly configured. So whether you want to allow ordering of the goals and reviews or not, you can do that. So all these things are actually coming from here. So you can see all these things are set up here. You have no kind of stuff, right? So this is where it is above. Now next one is setting up an organizational level goal. Okay, so this is where it is covered. You can see that. Again, the same thing, maintain goal setup. In our case, maintain, maintain outcome-based goal setup. And inside that, we have to ensure as you complete the task. So these are the few things, supports, allows, hmm? all right. So these are the few things you can see. Allow supports through hierarchy, right, supports, level of on organizations so this is something you can see percentage completion right allow automatic calculation of a percentage completion so all these things you can see here so basically if you have set up all these things 
the, that is under the managed organizational outcome based goal task right so this is the configuration outcome based goals so this is again very easy to understand nothing much so i will be quickly go to the next section mm -hmm. setting up a goal completion statuses again so if you go here let's see setting up a goal completion statuses where we can do that so for that we have to go to the maintain goal completion at statuses task okay, how do i go maintain goal completion i will go to the another task called Completion statuses, you can see maintain outcome based goal categories, maintain outcome based goal completion status. Let's see first the category, then we will go to the next one. So these are different categories in your organization. There can be different categories of goals. Maybe it is related to the career development, is a business objectives, performance improvement, or it can be, let's say, social initiative, let's say. Or what is this? A CSR, corporate social responsibility. In some organization, they call it corporate citizenship. Or CSR activity, corporate social res responsibility. You can see it here. Click OK. Corporate citizenship is already included. Let's say it is one of the thing, and uh, you can keep on adding. So I'm not going to add many more. Okay, but this can be also added in the goal categories, right? So this is what we understood from here. So this is a one of the outcome based goal category. Now what we will do? We will go to the maintain outcome based goal completion statuses whether it is completed or not okay and what could be the completion status whether it is in progress it is not started or it is in exceeded the target right and uh, complete so all these things you can see here what are the possible values here okay and also for is everything we have a definition okay so there are different category of a status okay if it is exceeded target that was completed okay and there are so many things like inactive you can see if it is a tick that means inactive if it is not take that means these are active okay partially met target that means completed again depending upon your scenarios right this is where exactly we can come and we can maintain those completion statuses right very easy to understand i hope everybody are understanding so that's fine so now let's move on to have to work the status field if you want to move on this is fine Okay, once it is configured, yeah, track my goals. All these things can be done. Goals work trade in performance dashboard. Now, next one is a very important one, configuring the goal templates. So how we can check all these things. So we get customers, how work they individual, how the goals will looking like, how the sections will be looking like, all those things you can see. So how to do that? So for that, you have to go to the goal template rule task okay so how to do that create goal template rule so we have create outcome based goal template rule that is nothing but as you have renamed, it will be create goal template rule only. Okay. So in the standard system, this is how the template will be looking like whenever you are creating for the first time, right? Outcome based goal template rule. Okay. So let's say I will be not be filling up everything, but I will do overall goal FY 2023 and category. So at present, I do not have any category. Copy condition from rules. Okay. Let's say. It is future goals. And what are the different conditions? Okay. So based on that, you can set up. Okay. What is the due date? What is the end date and all? So this is how we can set up your yeah, goal. Okay. So this is a 
outcome based goal template rule rather. Okay, so we can see there are some errors are coming up. Okay, source field, the field source is uh, required. Okay, field operator should operate. Okay, so these are the few fields which are mandatory. Okay, so you have to must enter those values, right? So categories, nothing is there present. Only characters, okay. Anyway, so we will move on. So this C is where exactly you have to come here. So that we'll be doing the implementation in detail, but just to understand where exactly these are, actually you can identify and you can create your goal templates and all, right? So next one is steps for managing organizational goals. How we can create all these things, we will going to see here. So this one you can create in the maintaining, uh, access maintain goal period. In that task, you can do it. And for that, create or edit organizational goals, set up goals to be done. Maintain goal period. Okay, so this is your maintain of the goal periods. So here you can see, you can set up your goal plan and all, what will be your start date and what is your end date, right? So as we move on, you can see 16, 17, 18, all this 2000, we no more these are active. So simply if I select the inactive, suppose we are creating FY23 goals, right? So we can see the start date is here. So let's say it is starting from January 1st, 2023 rather. Okay, January 1st. And it does start end with December 31st. Right, so this is where we can set up all these things. This is how you can your goal periods you can set up. Okay, so this is uh, now done. Right, so now you can all do all these things. Talent view organization goals is related action on a supervisor organizations. You can always view that. So how we'll check that? Select select talent and view organizational goals. Talent. So these are different reports available in the talent part. So if you want to search some configurations and all, you can always do that from here. So now we are not going to that detail. Let's move on to the next part. So these are all already we have done all those stuff editing. So once you know how to create it, definitely we'll be able to edit it. So we'll quickly move on so to the next segment. This is already we have done at an employee level, how we can creating and editing a goal, right? At an employee level, we can do that. So next one, we will move on. 
as to on cascading goals. This is also we have seen. Already we have seen add goals to employees tasks and how to assign it. And there are some frequently asked questions which you can means what can be done, what cannot be done. This is a very important thing to understand whenever you're implementing, right? So at least you should be aware of all these facts because otherwise you'll be having a client question or whether it can be done or not. It is better to prepare before you implement all those stuff, okay? So I'm not going through this. This is a task for you, right? You can read through them, what is possible, what is not possible, just like as simple as can the other goals will be equal to 100, right? So they're saying no, this is, this is some validation is there, we cannot do it, right? So you have to always look up to it, okay? So now with this note, we will stop here to now we have completed the first segment of our uh, talent module. So that is your goal management part. So I will just highlight it. So we have covered in from a talent module. So we have covered the goal part. So in the next sections, what we'll be going to cover, we'll be going for your development teams. Right? So I will not highlighting everything. Now the goal part is only done. So there are multiple things here in the talent module, if you can see. So we'll go one by one. So goal part is over. And the next section we will be covering. What is the development items? Okay, in the development items again. So what other things can be done? We will see there, right? So now we will stop here. Thank you for joining in. And uh, those who have missed, you can also always watch the recording in my platform. So let's stop here.